Okay, right. My name is Clayton Huffman here with Key West Citizen. We'll do a little aftermath show, something new, something a little bit different, but we had some great causes going on this weekend. One of them was the 21st annual um, Bar Wars, where all the bars and everything we talked about a little bit this week in the Keys, so I'm not going to go back over it. We're just going to show you some footage now. We'll take you around. You thought the rain yesterday kind of stopped everybody? No, it didn't. We had a great turnout, like always. It's for a great cause. We raised a lot of money. So I um, hope you guys enjoy some of the footage before we'll take you around and show you around now. And let's enjoy and get to it. Yeah. 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 You guys down there for introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 21st Annual Scooter Wharf Bar Battle of the Bars. Make a little noise for yourself. This is a charity drinking contest that involves an obstacle course. What could possibly go wrong? Anyway, I'm going right home. I've uh, you know, read right on the TV show about drinking, so I feel fairly secure in telling you that I think a lot of you people are drunk already. Anybody here already been drinking? It's just getting started. I'd like to uh, compliment the Schooner War Bars team as the only ones smart enough to wear helmets to a drinking contest. 21 years this has been going on for charity, boys and girls. And uh, 21 years ago, perhaps the hottest bar owner in the world, Miss Evelina Worthington, and a group of people started this. Boys and girls, please give a big round of applause for the home team right here. The owner of the Scooter War Bar, one of the coolest people in the world, Miss Evelina Worthington. today. They are in charge of the show here today, boys and girls. Uh, Spike TV said last week that the Battle of the Bars was, and I quote, more fun than spraying your ass with lemon pledge and sliding down the banister backwards. So we're going to get to that right now. Our charities 
are here today that are going to be the recipients of this. And once again, Key West steps up to the plate, has a good time for a good cause. I'd like to introduce from the Boys and Girls Club, Dan Dombrowski, the Executive Director. From yeah. the FACC yeah. Youth Swim Activities, Miss Lori Bosco. I'd like to bring up our new city manager, who is our old city manager, and the only person wise enough to wear pants on such a cold, cold day, Jim Scholl. Come on up here, Jim. And perhaps the coolest mayor in the coolest town in the world, running for re-election this year. Boys and girls, the mayor of the Honorable City of Key West, yeah. We appreciate all the great work you guys do. And uh, Dan, why don't you tell everybody what you're up to? We got sweet blood, that's why. All the volunteers, judges, everyone, and you guys for being here. What's that? Referees, too. I'm sorry to forget the referees. And you guys for being here. This is the third time we've been invited back for this. And let me tell you what this ha how, how it helps us out. We were on an after school and a summer program. This summer we had 150 kids enrolled in our program in, in Key West alone. And what we do is we try to give the most impoverished kids in this community a chance to have a great future. We give them the start of a great future. We tutor them after school. We do life skills with them. They do community service. And you're a part of that because what happens is when schools are closed, we're open. So again, I want to thank you guys. And please, thank you again. I, I can't begin to thank you enough on top of our kids and our board. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Just like to say, how many of us, if we had after school problems, wouldn't end up at the Schooner Wharf on a Sunday morning in a drinking contest? I mean, probably would have saved me here. Also, from the FKCC Youth Swim Activities, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce Miss Lori Bosco. If your team does not perform in the top three in the first round, you can quote unquote bribe us to get back in the second round where you've learned so much in the first, you can do way better in the second or third or even fourth. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, 
He really needs no introduction, but uh, if there was a hurricane going on down here, you'd see him on TV. But instead, he's here at a drinking contest with us. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Craig Cates, the mayor of Key Weird. Thank you. Thank you, Hogan. Really, I can't say enough. You know, this event is just incredible. Evelina and all the volunteers, you guys, just unbelievable. Sponsors, everybody gets involved in here. But the, I just want to thank you all for giving your time to a charity in Key West. And I, I always said that, I just like I say every year, you guys are the ambassadors of Key West. You meet with the guests, the tourists that come here every day. You're the ones that talk with them. You represent Key West, and you're the reason people keep coming back. It's the people of Key West that makes this town so special. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Everybody's coming back. Okay, in conclusion guys, you can hear in the background, it's still going strong, we're about to finish up here. Um, it was a great day today, we thought it was going to rain there for a minute, but it turned out to be a great turnout. Like always, especially for the last year, we had the mayor out, the city manager out, um, raised a lot of money today, and had a lot of fun doing it for the Boys and Girls Club and the Florida Keys Community College swimming program. So I hope you guys enjoy this little aftermath footage we had of this past weekend. And uh, stay tuned for many more to come. I'm Clayton Huffman with the Key West Citizen.